Hello everybody, welcome to the Grim Report. This is a special Grim Report because I announced this, not just because I announced this on Vault's channel last night, what I was going to do, but because I'm over 100 subscribers. And this is thanks to the people that have been helping me out. I'd like to thank, first off, thank you, Vault, Akaya, DW especially, thank you for that awesome video you put that you put up on my channel. That was awesome. Um, Chaos, and Vamp, very supportive of me, very supportive of me, and believed in me when I didn't, and uh, I didn't think I was going to make past, at the time I first started, I only had 17 people, I didn't think I was going to make it past that, and now I'm at 100, over 100 subscribers, and growing, and it's all thanks to these people. They're they're really like family to me, and in so many ways. But let's get to what you guys came here for. I'm not one for very not a very sentimental person. Grim's not a very sentimental person. So let's get to the Grim report, shall we? This is called, ladies and gentlemen, A Girl Raised by Monkeys. Yes, monkeys. This is paranormal in the fact that the girl was raised up to the time she was eight years old. This is written in April 6th, September of this year. Updated 10 a.m., 10.33 a.m. that day. A group of lumberjacks working. This happened. You know, this guy, this group of lumberjacks. Imagine you're working in a remote area of India. You know, cutting your wood. And you discover this little girl. Like, you're kind of like right out of Jungle Book. They rescued an eight-year-old girl who had been raised by a troop of monkeys. Supposedly they rescued her. The child was found. She was walking around on fours like a monkey would. Screeching at people. You know. And the government officials alert, were alerted to this by the wisdom, by these guy, by the guys. They found her two months ago in the Baharich region near the Nepal border, somewhere near the Nepal border. The girl was nearly naked. Basically, she nearly had no clothes on at all. She. To talk like a human and wounds were elbow on her elbows and legs, but she appeared to be, you know, comfortable with the animals. They liked her. I guess they grew up with she grew up with them, they tolerated her. Or they just actually downright liked her. They say it goes on to say she was terrified of them. She couldn't speak or hear properly. She was surrounded by three monkeys and expector ram Avatar told com, com, Cover Asian Press. She looked at uh, she looked weak, you know, like she wasn't very strong. She looked like she was hungry. You know, you living with monkeys, you're gonna be living on their diet, and the diet their diet's not meant for humans. You know, they gave her some food, and she looked miserable. They think if they said if they, she looked bad, she looked miserable, she looked tired, wore out, whatever. And they thought if they wouldn't have rescued her, she would have been eaten up by animal animals, you know. Rescues. This is what the rescues did. That is, they dubbed the child the Mongol Mongol girl after the after the boy in Rub, Rubyard Kings Kingpins, a Jungle Book. You know, like Mowgli. The Mowgli girl, basically. You know, after the king after the jungle book. You know, they named her Mowgli girl, the Mowgli girl. A girl appeared she appeared to be abandoned in the wilderness by her parents. Avatar said, and when she was brought back to civilization taken to the hospital, she had trouble adjusting. He added she acted with feral violence, even ate her food off the floor. Wow, you imagine that. 
you know, not eating it on a plate, but knocking the plate on the floor and just eating it off the floor. It kind of like monkeys do. Of course, she was raised by monkeys. Yeah. But yeah, he, he believed that. A girl raised by monkeys, found in the wilderness. And this is all due to coast to coast, and I think it was the Daily Mail as well. So this is where I got the story from. And for you newcomers, I do this. I get a story from the internet nobody thinks about looking up. I do a heck of a lot more research than what I can, than what's there. I add my little bit of twist to it. In other words, I put the stuff in my own words so there's no copyright. And there are some things that I do more research than others. And if I ever need help, I call upon Lakaya, a librarian. I get her to help me. And hopefully she's not too busy too. If not, then I will continue. But here lately she's been a lot of help. And especially in the Ape Canyon report. If you guys want to look at that, she helped me do a lot of research on that. And that led up to last night. So... Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. No, I would think, in my opinion, it would be a quite strange event to be in the in the forest. You're cutting down trees. You see this little girl start walking up to you, but on all fours, not kind of like on fours, like a monkey. You know. Butt up in the air, hands on the, you know, hands like this, walking to you like that. And she's lived, she, they think she was abandoned by her parents. Well, to pick up all these traits, she had to be there for a good long while. And to think, what would you think? Would you, would you be shocked? I know I was, when I first started reading, when I first read this story, I was like, what parent in their right mind would do this to a child? Right? But this is for you guys to comment on me, not just on, not me. So leave a comment, leave a like if you like the video. But these are questions I'm bringing to you. What would you do? And how would you do it? What would your reaction be? Would you do what these uh, woodsmen did? Call the police or whatever they did, you know, whatever, something like that. Or would you take a step back and leave the leave it alone? Being a human being, you know, but there also is the thing is is that this kid was kind of starving I mean she looked like she was hungry like really skinny I wish I could have saw some pictures of it but there weren't any I don't think they took the time to take pictures so yeah kind of odd but kind of strange but it's up your you know let me know what you would do down in the comments I will be soon, hopefully, getting another email that's not my private email for this channel and checking it periodically and uh, hopefully it'll be soon. I gotta get off my lazy butt and do it. Grim is kind of lazy sometimes. Um, but to recap, little girl found by woodsmen that was raised by monkeys. Brought to civilization. Had to be taught how to speak and walk like a person. She could not hear very well. And she could not speak like a human. She could make screeches like a monkey and stuff like that. Nothing that would pertain to being human speech. 
So with that said, good luck. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Before I leave, before I go, guys, subscribe to Vault of Nightmares if you're not already. The K of the Librarian, Chaos Theory Productions, Vamp Legosi. She's gonna have some stuff going on pretty soon. And I got one more to add to that. It's gonna be on my Sunday night live stream. I do it every other Sunday, so. If I have something. If I don't, then I'm not gonna do anything. But yeah. His name's The Wicked One. Check him out. He has Dogman stories if you like Dogman stories. And don't forget about DW either. He has t shirts for the set for sale. On his Facebook page. And he's going to have more merchandise coming out in the next month or two. What he says in his video. So I'm just repeating what he said. Don't kill me or nag me if I doesn't. It's not me saying it's DW. And do look forward to, yes. When I understand, DW will be giving me more videos every so often. For my channel. Just for my channel. You won't find them on his. You'll find them on mine. So, we're looking forward to that. And, good luck. Good night. God bless.